how to study for your anatomy exam in four weeks. Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching, where we work with trainee fit pros that are looking to pass their exam with confidence. This video is for you if you're working towards your level two or level three anatomy exam and that that's booked in for about four weeks time. Now, what I'm going to lay out for you here today is three really simple steps you can follow and you can use these steps if you're working towards your exam so that you know that you've covered everything you need to in order to pass inside four weeks. So the first step is that you first of all need to know the content that you're going to be assessed on. So this might come down to just looking through the syllabus and knowing what you need to do. It might come down to looking at your manual. You might have a specific study guide that's going to help you prepare for it. But the first thing is you need to know everything that is required of you before you can start planning ahead. Second thing is to break those down into clear chunks so that you know what you've got to do on each week and then therefore create a plan around it. So for example, in the level three anatomy and physiology, you can chunk that down into eight modules. So all the content chunks down into eight modules. And if you've got four weeks, you know you can do about two modules per week, or you might do a little bit more on one of those weeks to allow for a bit more recap. But four, um, four weeks would be eight modules spread over two modules per week. Similarly, if you've got 50 muscles that you need to learn for the level three anatomy, then you might structure those so that you learn two per day over the whole four weeks. And then that allows for a little bit of extra recap time at the end as well. Or in level two anatomy, there's actually 26 muscles you need to know. So you might just do one per day. So you can kind of structure those out to know exactly how many muscles you've got to learn and how many modules you've got to learn every single day. Now this will give you a huge amount of structure and that structure is gonna really help you know that you've covered everything and avoid the stress of that last minute cramming. Now the final step that you need to do is to recap and review. So when you're structuring out your whole revision program, you need to make sure that you allow a week, maybe a few days, to recap and review everything. Now this is really, really good if you've got a method of being able to go back over everything very quickly, um, that you can look over your notes, that you've got very clear brain dumps and imagery and acronyms that you can use to refresh your mind. So you've got all three steps, all you've got to do is follow those steps and you'll be ready inside four weeks. Now there is quite a bit of work there to do to prepare, but that will make life a lot easier. Now that pre if you don't have the time to turn around and prepare and work out all the content that's needed and work out how that kind of works for you and uh, everything that you've got to know, what muscles you've got to know, all the content, then we can do that for you. And we've got our Revision Mastery Bootcamp. So if you are looking for extra help and have it all laid out for you, this entire four week plan already done, all the content laid out for you, then check out the link that is with this video for our Revision Mastery Bootcamp. We've got that for level two anatomy and for level three anatomy. So make sure you go through and have a little look at our Revision Mastery Bootcamp because it will make your revision so much easier and so much more structured over the next four weeks so you can guarantee a confident pass. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope that these tips have been really helpful for making sure that you're prepared to pass within four weeks. If you could drop a little comment below, that would be great. Just let me know what is the tip that you're going to go and work on straight away now. Are you going to go and schedule? Are you going to work out what content needs to be done? Are you going to prepare for a recap? What is it that you're going to do? Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.